A recovery in the global tech cycle and cutting of interest rates by major central banks are expected to keep Singapore's economy growing this year. The country's central bank is maintaining its GDP forecast of between 1% and 3% for the full year. Now, that's even as industrial performance fell in March's latest print. Manufacturing output may have fallen 9.2% on year in March, but analysts say things are looking up. Other areas, you know, such as precision engineering, chemicals, consumer electronics have seen higher uh, year-on-year growth rates. And that is also essentially means that a good part of global demand, as well as Singapore producing the exports, have also likely been underpinned by the recovery in key sectors globally. In fact, growth this year could be more even across the sectors. Sold-out concerts have already helped generate up to $450 million of tourism receipts in the first quarter of the year, while cutting of interest rates globally will help to boost spending. The key growth drivers for Singapore's economy in uh, 2024 will really be the external-led sectors, the trade-related services, and lastly, financial services uh, would probably have some room to recover if you know global central banks uh, start to cut interest rates. But on the domestic front, labour demand is slowing even as some sectors like IT and healthcare continue to face a manpower crunch. Hiring sentiments are expected to stay low, with wage growth easing as high bonuses last year are unlikely to repeat. As a whole, because the labour market is actually cooling, I do expect that, you know, a lot of the industries are maybe, you know, are kind of like a little bit more constrained in terms of the wage uh, growth that they are giving to their workers this year. Meantime, core and headline inflation are expected to stay elevated in the coming quarters, only to slow more significantly in the last quarter of this year and in 2025. We are still expecting inflation to continue to trend lower. There should be bumps along the way. But uh, by and large, I think that direction is there. Upside risk, of course, on the geopolitical side, um, on uh, climate-related uh, risk to, uh, to food, uh, food and other soft commodity prices. Barring any fresh shocks to the system, economists add that the central bank will likely continue to stand pat on its monetary policy for the upcoming cycle in July. 